Hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to explain how to extract contour network from Google Earth. Uh, actually, we we can extract this contour data from the DIM. We can download DIM and we can interpolate these uh, contours to extract our area. But actually, when we extract the uh, contours from the DIM, it can't interpolate. It can't predict small areas contour areas. It, it can give low accurate contour layers. That's why we want to use these kind of the extractions for small areas. Let's go how to let's see how to do it. Uh, first, we want to make a shape, uh, make a file here. Let's give it this contour. Then, what you want to do is you want to make polylines here to extract points. Click here and click on the lines. I want to extract uh, this area. Okay. I will click here, don't remove your click. By pressing, you can drag like that. Like that. You can, when, you, when we do like that, you can see number of points here. Every point has contours contour values that means elevation values you can extract from these all points then you want to save it okay then what we want to do is uh, we want to convert this layer to KML let's click right click then save place as here you want to change KML then you can give uh, name I will put here name Point one, save. Then you want to download another software. I will put in this uh, software link below the my video. Uh, software name is T T C X Converter. Then you can open this file here like that. <coughs> okay, you can see X and Z values are there. These all points have X and Z values. But there's no any elevations. If you, uh, what this software is doing, it's giving all elevation values to the elevation values to all points. To do that one, we want to go to update quality of, click on here, then definitely when we run this software, this quality of values, our internet connection should be there. This is the message. Uh, already I have, therefore I give yes. Uh, here you can see, they have extracted. They have extracted elevation values to all points. Then we can export this layer as a CSV layer. That means then we can CSV layer, okay, email, all things. We can, this all file, all file formats can identify by the GIS, QGIS our uh, supporting software. Therefore, I will convert this uh, layer into the CSV. Let's see how to do it. Uh, click here. Then <coughs> okay. You can give here no. Then it is it will save. You can see this is a CSV file. If you open that one. Here you can see longitude, latitudes, longitudes, altitudes. We don't want these columns. We can delete these columns. Delete these things. This also we don't want. Okay. okay now we want to save this file as a CSV file. Okay. We want to remember which which column is the longitude and latitudes. We should give that column in the GIS. Let's open the GIS. Okay, what I want to do is uh, we want to con connect our folder. Um, to the video, okay. This one. Um, we can put this file into the GIS like that. Then we want to get these all points into the interface. So right click display x 
white data. Here you can put these things as a default. Then here you want to Z field. You want to select Z field. That one is all the things that you have extracted from our DCX converter. To what table? Yeah, definitely it should shoot here to JS this coordinate system because normally Google Earth also in that coordinate system. Therefore, the coordinate system also should same with the Google Earth coordinate system. Now we go to the Google Earth here. You can see coordinate system. Actually, it's UTM. We can change this coordinate system into the into that uh, systems also. But normally we are using this coordinate system as a universal coordinate system. If we change this coordinate system into the this coordinate system, we can change it in the GIS uh, shapefile also. Like that, it should change. Then therefore, click on that. Then OK. Then OK. OK. Uh, here you can see these are the data. Our data points. If you click on to you can see long dates, that it is, all dates, all all things are there. Okay. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to you can do interpolations to these points. These these points you, you can see only we can see this area's data. Now we can do interpolations here, yeah, therefore we can use IDW tool. IDW then you want to give output that means this point layer z value z field is altitudes okay uh, if you want you can change it cell value cell, cell size okay you can give it the same location <coughs> okay okay this is uh, idw then what you what you want to do is we want to extract our contours let's see how to do it let's type contour then give our interpolate layer here you can put our contour into us what we want uh, i will give it as a 20 20 meter interval then it will give lines as a 20 meter gaps okay Okay, this is our control layer. So you can see, we can get these control layers, control values from mine level. If you go to the labels, interesting thing. Okay, the control. These are the values of the contour layers. Here you can see it has 20 meters gap between the two contours. Okay, now you can see now you have contour layers to do your modeling and other things. Okay, that's what I want to tell you. Uh, and don't remember to subscribe my channel and also you can put uh, you can click on the bell icon and you can see then you can see uh, my next videos also uh, if this video is good if you can get something from my video you can share this video to your friends thank you